Zeroing in on success. Master the art of focus with zero in on something. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're diving into an interesting and very useful phrase, zero in on something. Understanding this phrase can add a dynamic layer to your English conversations and writing. So, let's get started and zero in on the essence of this phrase. Zero in on something is a phrase that originates from military language, referring to the action of adjusting the aim of a weapon precisely at a target. In everyday English, however, it takes on a figurative meaning. To zero in on something means to focus very closely on a particular subject, object, or task. It involves directing all your attention or efforts towards a specific point or goal. This phrase can be used in various contexts, ranging from personal goals to professional tasks. For example, you might zero in on improving your English skills, or a detective might zero in on a suspect in an investigation. To truly grasp the usage of zero in on something, let's look at some examples. 1. In a work context, after weeks of research, the team decided to zero in on a more sustainable material for their new product. 2. In personal development, this year, I'm zeroing in on my health and fitness goals. 3. In academics, with exams approaching, she zeroed in on her weakest subjects for intensive study. These examples show how versatile the phrase is, applicable in any scenario that requires focused attention or effort. Using idiomatic expressions like, zero in on something, can make your English sound more natural and fluent. Here are a few tips. Use it to emphasize focus. When you want to highlight your, or someone else's, focus on a particular goal or task. Combine with action verbs, phrases like, decided to zero in on, or, starting to zero in on show a change in focus or the beginning of focused attention. Be mindful of the context. This phrase is very versatile but ensure it fits the formality of the situation. It's perfect for both casual conversations and more formal discussions. And that's a wrap on Zero In On Something. We hope this video has helped you understand how to use this phrase to express focused attention or effort in English. Remember, practicing these phrases in your daily conversations can greatly improve your fluency and make your English more expressive. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to zero in on our channel for more English learning videos. See you next time!